Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Final. We have Andri versus Arzawain, two Spanish lads. Uh, Arzawain team is much, 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 much better than Andri's team. But Andri's got a wizard and, uh, you know, he's a slightly better player than Arzawain, I would say. Um, both good. Um, Andri really needs to feel this pest to go. <laughs> I'll take that back about him being better if he doesn't put this pest to go on the field. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he had a, he had his like claw um, blitzer killed in the semi final, so he's only sixteen forty TV. That's why he's got the wizard, and his his team is really just not good enough, right? Two two re rolls. It's just it's got this this player is really good. This player is really good. You know, this player is actually really good, but everything else is just a bit wishy washy. Whereas Arzawain's got thirteen players, Apple. Three re rolls. Awesome team. Loads of guard, loads of mighty blow. Um, should be an easy win for us away on teams. But, let's say Andrew's a little bit better and, uh, you know, has the wizard. And also there's dice involved, right? He's got a claw guy, he could just claw him. Um, but it's like five guard versus seven guard and three mighty blow versus six mighty blow. And uh, there's also half his team are armor eight instead of all of ours wins being armor nine. So yeah, it's a rough, rough, rough game for Andre. Rough, 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 rough. Doesn't get a touchback. Diced again. Instant removal though. Gives him half a chance of getting the strike. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it doesn't take that much dice for him to just, you know, remove a few players on his own drive and then leverage that into a successful score. And then, uh, you know, survive till overtime and then win the toss in overtime and do the same again, right? It's not, it's not crazy. It's not crazy that he wins. Maybe 45% or something like it. It really isn't. It isn't crazy, but definite favourite is uh, is Andrew, I would say. Hello, Seabrooks. <laughs> Oh dear. Yes, they probably did. You twat. <laughs> Hello, Tora. I have been back to Power World actually, Carl ZD. I have a completely ridiculous team so I can beat Belenoir, Libero, or Ultra. Um, I have, you know, like. <laughs> Like 30 odd max condensed perfect IV pals. <laughs> yep. Complete, completely psychotic behaviour. Of course. Nobody's surprised. I mean, it mostly just in AFK, right? You just stay AFK and like make a millionaire. Uh, Breed a million pals. There we go. Just one KO. And steaming straight in is ours away in here. Again, you put a lot of pressure on those rubbish, those rubbish rotters, can't you? Team is just so much better. It's going to be very tricky for Andre. What is this? Is this like extra arms or something? Big hand. Fucking why? I guess random, right? He must have like rolled random general, random. 
Oh no, it goes in the other it goes in the other order, so he must have got block, mighty blow, and then what random mutation, I guess. <laughs> the fuck is got big hand for? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck does he have big hand? <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. You'd have to double G fight to blitz him behind into a big old gang foul, or he could just go one, two, three, four, single G fight blitz him into a gang foul. You can have a guard there, another guard. One, two, three, four. Double GFI, so you could put guard in, guard in, and then he could go one, two, three, four, double GFI, hit him back down. Oh, and he's got stand firm. But he'd still have three guards on him, right? He'd still have a three guard assist. So he wouldn't be able to chain him down. Oh. So much guard, it's just almost impossible for him. Could just go for a two assist foul here on a live one. Like, it's terrible, right? It exposes your dirty player sneaky git. I mean, you can't do this foul, but on the other hand, maybe it's the only bloody way anything happens, you know? Uh, that has to be too desperate. But, like, he probably has to do some, you know, things that look bad plays. Because he's just. It's just. Okay, maybe he isn't 45%. Maybe he's. Maybe he's 40% at best. Maybe he's thirty five percent to win. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't be in. Maybe he's thirty percent. And I will defend. Maybe he's twenty seven point two percent. It's uh it's not looking good for him. Not looking good at all. Oh man. PC PC has got a... He's got one world, one blood ball. How many times will he mention Syrian? <laughs> oh dear. Hello, Satterfield. Thank you for staying fantastic for 77 glorious months. That's a long time, isn't it? For it, me. That's too many beaver pregnancies to count. Well, it's not actually, is it? 19. Okay, <laughs> They're working out nearly instantly. <laughs> a billionth of a second to work it out. Can't <laughs> even ask you. Man. Well, he survived that turn, only giving away one block. But again, you know, exactly the same thing, thing's going to happen every turn. Now he's just gonna, he's just gonna get base. He's gonna get smashed. He's gonna get loads of guard in on him. Well, that was a stand up, so he's got not, he's got no hits back. But it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse for Andre. So he hasn't got Juggernaut, so he's not pushing him back. So that Blitz Direction doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This would be incredibly stupid reroll here. Doesn't go for it. Like having three guards on them is fine, right? Three on one with guards is what you really want to make it hard to. Like he cannot deal with it at all. But it's only getting one hit. But he's on right. Look at it, you still crack it, eh? If you still crack that, because he just goes claw blitz and then blocks him, so even this isn't that bad. It sucks for all of this, like half his team is absolutely screwed. But he, at least he gets the, the gets the claw hit in. Claw hit on a big one, and he can foul the big one or the blitzer afterwards as well. 
pretty good. I think that's the play, just leave these three guys to get mown down basically. Move your whole team in over here, get two knockdowns, foul removal, and then your two players up, and you can start trying to do something. I think that's the play. Arata, Arata. No, I don't like this for trying to fight. Trying, to, I mean, it gets the chain off here, but and if it had been a pal, it, it's kind of good, right? It's kind of good this, but the, the problem with it is, it's not that good. <laughs> like beating the guys off, <laughs> it's just, you know, you're not advancing. You just like you know this guy's got stand firm. This guy's gonna stay in contact now if you only get a push, and uh, you kind of you know like you kind of just not doing a whole lot, and you're spreading yourself really thin. I, I preferred claw blitz block foul, really smashing to one side. I mean he's got plenty of time, right? He's movement eight, so he doesn't you know he can. He can uh, he can wait until quite a bit later, and he can just put the guards of his own in here and here and two D this lad. With claw, not with claw, but he could have blitzed with claw. I think claw was better. Don't know how many times I can say the same thing, but should hit people with claw. <laughs> Doesn't get a foul out of this as well. You see, like he he, he you know he got he got the knockdowns, but. He doesn't get a foul in this way, whereas this way he gets the foul as well. Could have had like a three assist foul, three or four assist foul. Now, what's he going to do? Like dodge? So he's still giving up that tie, right? So my plan. It was much better than Andrew's. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Well, that's the thing, beating guys off doesn't get you anywhere, you know? You just end up, you just end up bogged down <laughs> at midfield. And you know, close to the finishing. <laughs> and, and those men that you've beaten up, they're still angry. They're, they're still, they're still coming at you. <laughs> you really want to get in their end zone, right? Beating them up doesn't help you get in their end zone. That's that's the thing. <laughs> So now we're going for. He's not standing up his guard yet. I don't know why. Hmm. Not going for the foul or going for it stupidly. One of the two. Because if you're fouling, you want to protect your fouler with this guy. This guy is way more expendable than the fouler is. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Blood Bowl 2020 is so stupid. That your lineman with two skills is the best player on the pitch. Oh, here we go. Look at this guard foul assist. Nice. That's pretty nice. There we go. Sneaky git. Working its magic. Just think, if Andre had done what I'd said, this guy wouldn't be getting, wouldn't have been KO'd, and he might have removed two players himself. But you know, well, can't all be as good as me. And it's just horrible, isn't it? You know, that's the thing. You beat those guys off, and now they're right back in his face. <laughs> Nothing he can do about it. <laughs> 
this one can GFI blitz and then like as one assist foul him, like it's just terrible, isn't it? Like the the, the play over here with Claw and Gang foul was way better. But that was a great foul by Andre uh Azawain, to be fair. Using the uh errated rules that will not be in play for next season. Um but for this season they are in. Two more assists and he rolled a double two, didn't he? So without without these two assists he wouldn't have broken armor. He wouldn't have made the foul, I mean. He would have fouled this guy, probably. There we go. Claw hit. And he's got a two assist foul there. It's not terrible, is it? You can't even 1D. It's just, it's just, it's just awful. It's so, it's so awful. He can block him. Strength 6, yeah. So he can block him, and then if he powers him, because he's got stun firm, then he can 1D him. And then if he powers him, because he's got stand firm, he can 2D him. Oh, he can 2D him. Then that could free up two players. So if he gets if he gets a 2D pow and then a 1D pow, he can maybe free up two players. He's doing it this way to get his guard in. Okay. That's, uh, that's yeah, that's better. That's better. Well done. Well done, Andre. I was trying to get the guard off, but getting the guard in does the same thing and is better because you're hitting a guy where so the push is good enough. So that was definitely the correct play from him. Okay, he does the 1D here. I don't really like the 1D here. Um, because I wanted to free up that guy. But he frees up these two, so basically the same thing. I would have made it a block was block to free them up. But, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's okay. not going max foul. He's not going for a max foul. I mean, it was still both 1D powers, right? It was still just both. We, we both needed a 1D power. So he gets the gets the KO, but his his worked. He, he I needed a two D power, and he needed a two D push. So like that was the difference with his one. That was that was really nice. No dwarfs, please. It's pretty great. Nobody likes flipping dwarfs, do they? One KO versus two KO, but obviously he's got one with a ball, so it's still tricky for him to win the fight. This is a nice little tag here, isn't it? It's all about the sneaky get dirty players. <laughs> Once again, just it's just so dumb, isn't it? It's just such a dumb game these days. He's GFIing to hit him. <laughs> oh dear me. Gets the kill. There you go, that's Blood Bowl 2020. GFIing. And putting two players out of position and GFIing just to hit a sneaky get dirty player. And it was it was the right decision. It was unequivocally the best play. <laughs> Destroying your drive. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, if he if he stands firm, he's getting dodged foul. Yeah, he doesn't stand firm. Does he dodge this guy? Does he one D? 
What's he gonna do? He dodged, he's going for the dodge foul anyway, so it's two assist foul. Nothing. You'll do nothing. Now he's got like four players level up behind them. I mean, he's totally given up the drive. Totally given up the drive here, Razawain. Mega, mega, completely given up the drive. So that's great news for Andre. Gets the turn eight stall. And if he survives till overtime, with, you know, half a decent team, he's got a good shot. They've at least taken it to kicks. Dodging away from this guy, you know, just, there's nothing there, right? You can claw blitz and then get him up as well. Get him up, get him up. And then he can go either way to get another turn of stall. A double screen. To stop the stall pressure. Don't like this being so tight in, but... I would have probably just gone down this side, actually, I would have probably just gone down the side to make this like more layered with these these players, like, do you know what I mean, like, this guy could have been there, and then this guy can, these two guys can both try and dodge off. I didn't, I thought only one was a dodge, to be honest. But these guys could both try and dodge off, and, you know, this guy would be all the way over here. Because now he's not really getting anything, you know, other than just uh, constantly pressured. Oh, you can just you can just bang all these guys out. That makes going over here even better, right? If he'd gone over here with like this player there, and he's had a player here. Look out! Look how secure this is now. So this this rotter could have been here, here, and the ball here, and then this this rotter could have like GFI'd one to there, and you'd have everything locked down. Another removal. Looking very nice now for Andre this drive. Nurgle being the uh, underdogs is wild, isn't it? The plim plum pal. Dead, dead, dead. This is not an FBV no. This is the uh this is the chalice, just like Blood Bowl 2 used to have. Blood Bowl 3 has it now. Um you know season two finals actually was an style, wasn't it? Uh with various ways to qualify rather than just the ladder and now what what there's going to be is once a year there's going to be a world championship not the world cup the world championship once a year with only 15 qualifiers coming from the cup and ladder and 49 qualifiers coming from various leagues which will make the quality of those 49 players very 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 variable uh, but one of them will be very good because one of them will come from the Super League um, and at the moment it's myself in the final <laughs> versus either Andy Devo or Diamond and that will be uh, that's going to be on Tuesday that game so there you go actually gonna, it's actually going to work properly next time Claw the Orcs. Ooh, the follow here is a little bit risky, isn't it? Could re-roll this. Because the problem is, this is this was the problem with the follow. I would have been maybe tempted to not follow, 
and uh, try to do some other things, but you know, it is. It's tough, right? It's really tough for Andrew. His team's a lot worse. I still like protecting the ball with this whole team, right? Because now he's getting gangbanged in the middle, right? He's got five players versus three, six, eight, seven. Seven versus five. And the one versus three he doesn't care about. You know, so, so that's why I like just moving the ball down this way and still keeping a big blob of players together. Now he's abandoning that even more. There is Count Logon, yes. Um, that is actually how Jay Leavers qualified for the World Championship. He uh, beat he beat a bunch of little kids. Um, uh, average score of 3-0 with Orcs. <laughs> and uh, after successfully beating little children, he's qualified for the World Championship. So there you go. Well done. Well done for him on finding the easiest qualifier. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Jay Lee. <laughs> the King of Kings. Devo has entered about 10 different leagues. He could have just entered that one. <laughs> Team reroll. Doesn't rely on pro. Yeah, he has been a little bit. Which is weird, right? Because there's got to be a chance of Devo and I doing the commentary again, right? And if I'm doing the commentary, I don't really don't give a shit about entering it. Like I, I like I, I don't know. I mean, he did. He played and commentated, which I think is mental. And I just would not do that. But obviously, it makes sense if you're not going to be doing the commentary, then you really want to qualify, sure. But there's at least got to be a chance, hasn't there? Maybe he got in trouble off Mrs. Dave or going to, going to France and offering a strange man a, sh a shower. <laughs> oh dear. You should have made a league. Maybe Sea Rose. Ah. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> horse legs. Oh, I can't believe when he said horse legs instead of horses legs. If you say horses legs, it's okay, but as soon as you say horse legs. <laughs> oh dear. You mean like Jimmy did? I mean, there can be no complaints about the quality of the Super League. It was only the high, it really was super, wasn't it? It really was a super league. Um, and to be fair, you know, they asked me, they said, who's going to be in this so that, you know, make sure it's all right. Make sure it's actually super. And I was like, oh yeah, it's super. Oh, he proed it. He proed the foul appearance, got the blitz off. And then I sent him the list and he's like, oh wow, yeah, that is super. I'm like, yeah. You can call you, the thing is, Zero, is if you call yours shitty league, will you even get the uh, will you even get the spot? The funny thing is, I want to do Super League anyway, right? Like what happened was, you know, we we had like the play-ins, right? The play-ins from the playoffs, and there was no custom teams. And I thought, oh well, seeing as we've all made a team for the play-ins, you know, we can have a Super League now, right? Because we've got custom teams, so we can actually we can actually do like a 
and like you know do it with friendlies and stuff I thought we can do it with friendlies use our play in teams and just actually get a Super League going so I was really excited to do the Super League and then after that um, you know they said oh we're having a world championship and qualifying things and I was like oh hello could we make the Super League one and they were like yeah and I was like good and then they just made the uh you know, the custom teams possible for everybody, so that made it perfect. Really bad KOs there for our So, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. If he grows really badly again, um. Andrew's got half a chance here. And also, obviously, the send off is huge. Maybe that wasn't worth making a fat, who knows? 1800 BB nut. Uh, Arzawain's team was 1800. Andre's team was 1640. Andre's team actually was 1800 as well, but he had his killer pestigo killed in the semi final. So, um, he's down. If only you understood what it means. The funny thing is that, of course, they had a very un-Super League on Fumble that they called the Super League, which was silly. Silly, silly, silly boys. Oh, timeout. Oh, no. Andre diced. Andy gets the touchback. Oh, no. Comedy mega. Absolute comedy mega. I bet Arzawain's a bit sad that he spent all of his rerolls there. <laughs> Good. I bet he's a bit sad that he used all of his rerolls hitting things. And then I uh, had no rerolls for this two turn attempt, and uh, I'm sure he did looking at that. Three D this guy, three D another guy. Ugh, diced. Making a three D here, making him about better than ninety nine point nine percent of Blood Bowl players. <laughs> Amazing how many times you see people make 2Ds here. Oh my god, two cars, brutal. Absolutely brutal. And if it hadn't been for the riot, or, you know, whatever, timeout, he wouldn't have got those extra hits. And, uh, Andre would be looking pretty good right now. Three. Is he still on 11? Yeah, he's still on 11, just. But now... So is Arzawain. So yeah, this is looking real bad, real bad for Andre. As always.
Yes, if only. I mean, he could have put the ball in range, couldn't he? That was an option, but he didn't do it. He just, he just instantly 2 would <laughs> Double skull. Amazing. I mean, I think Arzwain will have to prioritise scoring now. I don't think Metro will match up the, mix up the ladder metal much at all. No, nope. no. Nope. Orcs are still the best team. It's still hard for Wolves to hit you, right? Because they've got two guard that are agility two players, so not easy to get a guard. And then they've got two guards that don't have hands and don't have allocated touchdowns from winning from concessions. So meta's gonna be you know, most mostly the same, right? A few more claws aren't gonna make fuck all difference. I mean, of course, Diamond, yeah, Diamond might get number one with Necro, but um, overall, it's still going to be completely dominated by Dwarves and Orcs. Yep, it will forever. It will forever be dominated by Orcs and Dwarves, 100%. Nothing, nothing will change the Orc and Dwarf dominance of Blood Bowl 3, un unless, like, you know, new a new box set comes out in 2024. And then, um, and then cyanide, update the rules, and you know, maybe new rules will make orcs and dwarves less dominant, but who knows. They haven't, no, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they will, right, because they've changed it a couple of times already, so... And they said so. They said something like, you know, we'll we'll keep changing it until we get it perfect or whatever. I think they they kind of said they'll keep changing it until they're happy, rather than they'll keep changing it for a change. Do you know what I mean? I think they're trying to find the right value rather than mix things up each season. But I think mixing things up each season would be all right, wouldn't it? We've had 1,800 and 1,600, haven't we? So 1,700 makes sense. That's a sensible rumour. Doesn't mean it's true. But it's sensible. I mean, somebody respectable doesn't mean much. But um, <laughs> if somebody's a VIP, then like, there's plenty of VIPs that aren't shy about talking. Of course, I'm not a VIP. I have no idea about anything. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not a VIP, but there you go. It's pretty fucking stupid if you ask me. If you're not going to knock him down, just blitz him with a fucking mighty blow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you fucking idiot, Andrew. You deserve that. Good. Good, absolutely fucking deserved. You fucking loon. The fuck was that about? I'll blitz him to get a push so I can hit him with my claw mighty. He just blitz him with a claw mighty. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Steve. That is true. Honest Jim. Ah, do they? Do they be be not? Some some have that have quit. Some some told the truth that have since quit. But you know, you've got to play the game a little bit, haven't you? At the end of the day, it's the same with everything, isn't it? You know. Like, all these YouTube channels that say things like you know they. They're not going to review something and say it's rubbish and then not get any more. <laughs> you know, uh, you know like, I don't know. Phillips gave me this <laughs> £1,000 TV to review and uh, I think it's rubbish. Don't give me another one. <laughs> you know. So, there is an element of self-interest. For sure. So, 
some some VIPs have been pretty uh, ludicrous on the, you know, saying everything's fine. And some have been a bit more sensible, and some have been uh, downright surprising in their scathing criticism of cyanide. <laughs> so who knows? Oh, we're just having to foul with a nothing lineman here. Hello, Agrelius. Here we go. Does not. You do not. That's not bad for Andre. He can get some localized pressure, can't he? This guy will get surfed if he stands up, so. <laughs> he probably can't stand him up, just has to pile in here and hope for the best. Absolutely great game, yeah, aren't they? Super exciting. Two guys cast there. Thanks to a uh, timeout, otherwise Andrew would have taken no damage at all. As a win with a KO and his dirty player sneaky gets sent off. Andrew's surviving. He could go for a like a frog here, right? He could go for a frog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, probably not. I could blitz him and then jump over him, right? So we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So he could try frogging him. He could try frogging him, honestly. Yes, BB Nut. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Isn't that weird? It's because, I well, I think it's because... The World Cup and that was Nacon, right? Well, not... Uh, I don't know if they're happy to... Prove, I mean, they're obviously happy for anybody uh, streaming the World Cup, but... Um, you know, I don't know if they'll get us back for the World Cup. Hopefully they will. But um, I think that was Nacon, right? Whereas... Primarily Nacon, whereas the uh, VIP is primarily Simon. So... If somebody or some people at Sinai don't like me, then they'll be like, No, I don't like him. <laughs> I guess. That's the thing that makes the most sense to me. Does he just go here? Maybe. That's a new bug that I'm sure that leaves that open. It didn't used to happen. Oh, I hate standing there. I hate, unless he's going to dodge. Okay. Double dodge, because he's still getting surfed there. <laughs> Double dodge and GFI stuns himself. Yeah, I think I think I like just leaving him on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, BB, not a little bit. But, you know, they're releasing this one in June, aren't they? So it would have been July, August, September. So, yeah, it would have been... About the 11th of September would have been fine, right? It would have been a bit early, but... Better than being five months early. Uh, no, Women Slayer, that's because, that's because somebody uh, wrote something in the chat and said it's being streamed on Eludius's chat, so I guess they just thought, copy-paste. <laughs> copy-paste. I don't think they uh, purposefully snubbed me. But it is odd that that chap, you know, wrote being streamed on Ludius's page rather than mine who've done, you know, all the top 16, but never mind. Maybe Eludius has done the whole top 16 as well. I don't know. Hello, five year. And it's what it is, isn't it, at the end of the day? The scandal I know, Fimea. Well, El Elliot's on uh, 
Elliot's on OWOB and Dimmy's watching OWOB. <laughs> so there's those two gone. Flippin' PC doing OWOB clashing OWOB clashing with the final is pretty mad, isn't it? Well there you go. What about Serene? That's the that's the question. <laughs> I mean, it's just a chalice final, anyway, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like it's the uh, Super League final, you know. Hello. Hello. Hello, Five Year. How are Hello. you? I mean, I saw there is another streamer, but they stream in the final, but it's in Spanish. <laughs> oh, you couldn't, you couldn't understand that, could you? <laughs> yeah, I could, I could, yes, I could understand that. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Glorious. So, what do we have here? Is, is this a tight thing? Um. It's a dicing in terms of what happened on the last turn of the semi-final, right? With Andre's killer dying, and now Andre's only got 1640 team versus an 1800 team. Uh, Arzwin's team's a lot fightier. Uh, but, you know, Andre's still in it, right? He's he's still in it. It's been, a, I guess, a good game, you could say. I don't know. <laughs> well, Andre is winning a 1-0 right now. Mm, yeah, and he, no, he's... Over time at worst, right? And uh, so he's, you know, he hasn't had his whole team die. So it's not looking bad for him at all. He's still got the wizard, so he should definitely score. If he receives, he should definitely score and at least take it to a uh, kicks. If you lose the toss in overtime, then it will get a bit trickier. But yeah, he's got a half a chance. Oh, the, yeah, limit on the, the limit on the TV was 1800 on yeah. the teams. Yeah. Yeah, so Arzawain's 1800 okay. and uh, Andrew was 1640, so he's got a wizard. 1640, Nargo. Mm. Yeah, it's not good, is it? It's it's because he had his killer killed in the semi, so. It's destroyed him. <laughs> and. Uh, Yes, I will get. I mean, yeah, it is, it is two old, two old faces, isn't it, from Blood Bowl Two, Arzawain and Andri. But there's a there's a new guy on the top of the ladder at the moment, isn't there? Uh, can't remember his name, but there's, there's there is a new name in in top of the ladder right now. Maybe somebody could tell me who it is, but there's somebody anyway. I mean, Chunt is second and third. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go. Chanter <laughs> making a statement. <laughs> it's the uh, nails the sneaky git here. I mean, at the end of the day, you have 64 teams in the top 64, you instantly win the cup. Mm. You know, yeah. <laughs> Just fill all the stops with your own teams, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Santer only needs another 62 teams. <laughs> yeah, I think it's top six of each race, yeah. There you go. See, top six of each race, so you don't get bored playing. <laughs> you can change teams. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Moomin. Yeah, Patrick Balcony. Never heard of him. I mean, it could be somebody's alt, but... Uh... Never heard of him, so there you go. He, you know, he's maybe a new guy on the scene. Who knows? Who knows? Well, he wins the tallies. You all know that guy is me. <laughs> it could just be Will Sitar's real name. 
<laughs> and it's actually nobody new at all, but who knows, right? It could be it could be somebody new. Someone's <laughs> twelve year old kid, maybe. Alright, so there we go, uh Andre. He's deep at least. He's deep and he's got his uh he's got his movement pestigore deep. He's got movement eight, blodge tackle, add two plus pestigore. So as long as he keeps him deep, he can uh snotling the ball or frog frog the ball and, and stop the score, can't he? So he's just gotta keep deep and keep everything in front of uh Arzawain and not lose basically. With a couple of lucky removals. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, when a team has a lot more icons. Yeah, yeah, it's way better. Loads more guard, loads more mighty blow. It's uh, it's very Ooh, rough. That bleach didn't go in the, the way he wanted. Ah, oh, stand firm, massive, isn't it? It's it's even bigger now as well than it was because there's no, uh, you know, like there's no piling on to take and stuff. So oh. the book gets a stun though. That's all right, isn't it? That's like he got to foul him anyway. <laughs> I think he'll pop it if he uh, if he gets the chance, right? If he gets the chance. I think he'll pop it to stop the score and just win in normal time. Just depends. Depends what situation he's in, doesn't it? Everything's situational. I, I mean, you ideally you would use it just to stop the score and like then you win one nil and you've won, right? So. If it was first half, you'd like to use it to turn him over. But obviously, very unlikely to turn him over with Nurgle. But that's like no, that's the ideal, right? But now, now that you've scored in your drive, stopping him scoring is a win. So the value of like just uh, just using it to stop him go drastic goes up. He could even fireball, couldn't he? I wouldn't hate a fireball. Just a dumb X cage here. Could oh have yeah, yeah. Could have tried all to play classic around. fireball on the cage can uh, solve all your problems or make you the laughing stock of the Blue Door community. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, right? Like, because if he knocks this one down, he gets to hit the ball. If he knocks this one down, he gets to hit the ball. And obviously, if he knocks the ball down, so that's three, four pluses to get a hit on the ball. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So yeah, I think we will see a fireball here, actually. Glorious. No, you can get the beast on the ball as well. Until I'm victorious. So yeah, I think, we'll, I I think we'll see the wizard now. I will defend. And I don't even have a t-shirt. Wowie. Squire L, dude, what a leg end. That's a long old time, in it? 82 flipping months. Wowie. 20 and a half beaver pregnancies. Thank you very, very much for that. Okay, now the fireball looks a little more complicated. Yeah, it was a nice square, that wasn't it? That was a nice square. Also, a stand firm and guard block, strength four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a really nice. That was really nice. Really nice square. Yeah, and he's gonna be a very little. Oh, I still have the blitz. No. Oh. Is this a double G if I to hit? Must be. Yeah, it was. Oh. <laughs> he gets a ball down. Oh, wow. So he burns a reroll and Armor still rate. fails and stuns himself. Yeah, wow. I mean, the fireball here still looks decent. And so does the yeah, frog, right? Yeah, there is still a tasty uh, fireball there. Yeah. Frog or fireball, both good. 
doesn't think about oh, them for many. a second. <laughs> I mean, maybe he thought about it for all of his turn, right? But I, I would have thought about that for a little bit there, at least. He could just blitz him, couldn't he? And then the guard could come around. He could block him, two assists. Guard could come in here, he could block him with two assists. And then the. In fact, then you could blitz this guy and then the beast could get on the ball. Beast on the ball is. Uh, he's very good. Yeah. Oh, but him. doesn't seem to be. Ah, he's going to put it. To get two of these there. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine, obviously. This is the more conservative line. Ooh, he could have also just blocked the sneaky get, right? He could have just made this a block with the sneaky get, and then this guy could have run around here to blitz him. I think he's uh, thinking I was blitzing with the guy at the back. No, he splits this. He's, bl he's blitzed with this pest. But, um, oh, uh, all right, okay. I would have maybe just blocked without block. So this guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you could have brought him in as well. And then, you know, next turn, wizard would have been a nightmare. He's just going to screen. And is he going to foul? He hasn't got a very good foul. Right now it's a plus two foul on the big guy that the has blitz. But yeah, not, mm. not a good one, but the sneaky kid is... Oh, all right. <laughs> hmm, not what I would have done. <laughs> but who can say if it's good or bad? I think moving him would have been much better into a position. It would have been much, just much better. If you're just going to do that shitty foul, I think he should have done a blockless block. And then he could have blitzed this guy, and then you look way, way stronger. Way stronger. Arzalane's just going to punch things. Punchy, punchy. Can he score? No, he's, he's one away from scoring. Turn 14. Andre's got to be thinking about the wizard again. Yes, because also when he's running uh, out of time, he's aiming, obviously he's going to try to aim to for a turn 16 a score. Mm. But that's very risky with a wizard in uh, Andre's uh, pocket. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to get in a range this turn, as well. Oof. Yes, he has to get a few players in range. Mm. Is he just going to go back to the middle? I mean, he's not going to score. I don't think he's going to score at all if he goes back to the middle now. I think he has. Like he's he committed to, to the, he goes to the middle. How, how, how does he score then? Yeah, I think he's committed. No, he, has, to he has to advance. He has to progress. Yeah. Ah, oh, so this guy's going to run around the outside. No? Okay, well, no. I think he knows he should have done. Oh, he's, he's risking just moving one square. The, it gets the him ball. in scoring range. It gets him in scoring range. But I'm I'm going to five all these four players here, I think. If I'm... Yes. Andre. Yes, I think a fireball is uh, extremely juicy. Also, you have already a player in contact. Mm. Yeah, lots of oh, things. There you go. Here. Card, fireball, target, satel. Yeah. I wonder which one. Where <laughs> did you put the fireball, uh, Jimmy? Uh, maybe where the cursor is. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> all right, all right. Taking a bed there, eh? gambling. <laughs> you could argue for here, right? To get, try and get this guy instead of this guy, but I think it has to be. No, has no, to be no, no, no. The, the ball at the center is the best. Oh, he gets three out of four. Holy oh my god, moly. so many dice on the screen. Oh. And the ball is in a very nice spot because <laughs> I think Andre can't score anymore. 
Yeah. Does he have any piece on a... Sorry, he, he's got two away. turns. He's got two turns, so... Oh, okay, two turns, yes. But the problem he's going to have is uh, you can blitz this guy and then you can just go and pick it up <laughs> and run away and then it's going to get... It's going to get very difficult, isn't it? He could blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if you pow, seven, eight, GFI. That's like the greedier play. But he could just blitz him. And then he can go, if you pow, one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, and just get away from the orcs, right? That's pretty strong to just really fucking run away. He can block him and then he can dodge off. I mean, he could just go for the... Maybe he could block these. all these... No, he hasn't got card. Dodge away at the end. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Oh, he's just dodging through. Okay. <laughs> well, he's just dodging through. That was the other way to do it. Wait. <laughs> yes, he has, uh, uh, has Agi Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a 3, uh, just a 3-2 right, right. dodge through. But now the question is, where does your blitz come to... Uh... Like, you know, I still want to blitz this guy. This is the thing, because I still want cover through the back. So, maybe this one's going to dodge off or something. And double GFI blitz and then bring him around and dodge him off. I don't know. Oh, so he could just go dodge and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. He's just going to 1D power him off me, of course. Why would you do anything except wow. 1D power? There you go. That is... That's the... That's the uh, local shop uh, play. Local <laughs> shop uh, tournament play. Please with one day. <laughs> yep. Inst full instant power. You can't change the right. That was, was a no really game. good turn for Andre. Really, I mean, fantastic fireball. Everything, the dodges work. Yep. This dodge is so good, but it's a four plus now instead of a three plus, isn't it? Oh my god! Doesn't even try it. I think he probably should have tried at least this one, right? One, two, three. He was in the way though. He shouldn't have followed with him, and then he. Oh no. He must have. Maybe he bought down. Yeah, this was a bit awkward. You really would have really wanted to do this dodge. Like, if it was edge three, I think he would have made this dodge. Um, he should be able to get something on him, shouldn't he, here? Double GFI to get guard on. And then double GFI to 1D, and then he can get guard out of all of this somehow. <laughs> Surely he can 2D power him, and then he can uh, dodge out. Team reroll to get the same roll. result. I don't know what he was trying to do there. <laughs> that was a bizarre, bizarre play from Miles Wayne. I literally don't understand what a power does there. Tilt, maybe. Okay, a power there. Then block the other rotor. Uh... One of the other rotors, and there's just a dodge with a blitzer with a mighty blow tackle guard. But I mean, he could have just done Maybe that. Maybe that was they looking for. Yeah, but he could have just blocked him, right? And then it would have been like, if you power him, it's the same thing. You've got to power two players to do it, what, that, which just seems mental. I'm trying to get two powers. Like this would have been, a, you know, one power, and then he comes around. So you what double GFIs and stands there. Or he blitzes him and just gets tackle on an agility fall player. That's obviously not good enough. I mean, you need to do something to recover uh, the ball uh, very quickly because that guy is going to run away. Yes, The ball yeah. carrier is going to run away. 
And already there is tackle already there, but they can't get rid of that tackle. And after that is a, you know it's a two plus a three roll, so tackle <laughs> is mostly irrelevant. Yep. He has to he has to block him. He has to dodge with the big one, probably. He has to he has to for a dodge um, from ten tackles. Yeah. With a with a big one as well. <laughs> so it's still terrible, even if it wasn't tentacles. <laughs> He's got to try and dodge the big one and knock this guy down. And then he could go three GFI, GFI with two two assists. And he's got tap as well. I guess he can just go for the one day. But he, he should have powered this guy. This guy should have powered him. That was a weird reroll. I don't get that. Also, that was a terrible uh, It's follow. an extremely difficult situation. Even if he managed to take down the ball, there is the scatter, there is the... Literally Here just, a, oh my god, does a fucking 4 plus dodge for no reason, when he could have just blocked him, he could just block this guy down first. Jesus, that's terrible. But of course, gets full reward. Terrible turn from Arzo in here. Cracking under the pressure, maybe. Could be. Oh, that ball there. Only has two scoring threats. And one's edged four plus, as it's called now. And then he makes this block anyway. <laughs> well done. Good turn ordering, buddy. He doesn't follow, so just freeze that guy up. Bizarre. Okay, there is a big gun uh, that can. Oh my god. Try to dodge front end that goes from the beast. <laughs> yeah. He gets it as well. Gets the pick up. Oh my god. What a look at dog. <laughs> what what have we just saw there? <laughs> what a look at dog. What a play from that big guy. Why oh, good? <laughs> Whoa. So what you have to do is here, just stand these two up, 2D him, then if you get a pow, you can 2D him, and then that frees this guy up to blitz. Um, if you don't power both of these, then you're in trouble. <laughs> I mean, this guy can do it, right? You can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, double GFI and hit him. Hear me, hear me out. The, 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 the guy on the floor, the, the dodge guy, dodge out blitzing, change the big gun with the ball next to the, next to the rotor, after you have made the blocks you have saved, and then you have more or less your whole, uh, your whole uh, Nargle team surrounding the ball. Yep. Or you can just blitz the ball because the guy is moving. Uh, how much movement does he have? Seven. Yeah, yeah, you can just do, you can just do it straight away. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, double GFI hit. Movement eight years. So you can two, three two pluses to hit the ball. But I, I like standing these up and trying for this pal first. Does get that pal. Hey, Kissy Bilal, welcome to the stream, first time chatter. Oh He should have not he should have not uh used stun film there so that a pal here would have still No, it wouldn't have mattered. Er errata, errata, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, he doesn't get the power there. So if he'd powered there, he could have gone three. He just does the dodge, okay? It probably is worth doing the dodge with him. Because then you get this recovery, right? And the recovery is how you, uh, oh my god, is how you, uh, win. But he's got to stand him up and dodge him around to here. Yeah, I'm moving in the corner, back corner. You can keep your uh, player there, you have to move him. Yeah, because he's got guard on, so... You need, you need an assist to make it a 1D. You'll figure out in a minute, minute or two. <laughs> you have to go here, Andre. Yes, yes, you have to go there, pal. Doesn't, oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear. That is suicidal. It's not uphill. This guy doesn't have guard. Oh, he hasn't got guard. Oh god, okay. I thought he had guard. No, errata, errata. I thought this guy had guard. But he didn't. So in that case, to, it was fine. Uh, start the turn, you know? Yeah. So ours are in out of rerolls for overtime, if he, if he can get there. Which is not easy, is it? And it cars. Yeah, I right. I, I thought this guy had guard. Sorry. Yeah. He's got a big hand, of course. Big hand is the skill to take instead of guard. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be a random, right? It had to be a random mutation. And Andrew would never pick big hand, surely. Can he hand off with this guy? One, two, three, four, five, G, five, G. He can as well. Oh my god. Why didn't he follow? <laughs> god. I didn't have to. Oh, because he hasn't got. Why do these players not have guard? Jesus Christ, honestly. Well, the, 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 the ball carrier makes sense of you know, having guard, and the other, the big hand, as you say, the random. Only. Right, so this is easy, isn't it? 2 2 3 to score. Well, no rerolls, though, so not that easy. Not that easy, and there is the animosity. Mm. Now that's one more uh, dice roll and one more uh, 2 plus. So it's 3 2 plus and 1 3 plus. Yeah, yeah, very good. Here we go. Does them. Makes the animosity, makes the handoff. Never in doubt. Makes the catch. Everybody does everything in this game. No uh, animosity. Amazing the line. Oh, biggins have only got animosity to other biggins. <laughs> ah, alright. Oh my god. No animosity towards the line. No. Uh, the things. The things you learn. Mm. Wow. One turn chance for Andre. Not much of a one turn chance, but technically, technically has a one turn chance. Let's move an eight and add two plus. Technically. And the most easy and complicated at all. <laughs> linemen have got it for other linemen. Biggins have got it for other biggins. Blitzers have got it for everyone. And throwers, of course, when it's your job to throw the ball to other people, have it for everyone. And goblins don't have animosity for anybody. Linos having it only for linos makes sense, right? Because they don't want to give it to people who are better than them. But biggins only having it for other biggins doesn't make any sense because they wouldn't they wouldn't give the ball to like they'd be like blitzers, right? They'd be they'd be animosity all teammates. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, even more, it makes even less sense. Like, it makes sense the other way, right? Blitzers should have animosity other blitzers. Because they'd give it to, you know, they'd give it to their other teammates, but they wouldn't let another blitzer, you know, take the score. So, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work the way it should. There you go, there's my, uh, there's my take on that. Terrible here, the three tight LOS from miles away. Very bad setup. Makes it way too easy. Because you can get a power on the blitz now. Blitzes this guy, pushes him to there. And he can he can fill this. He can block him. Right? He can block him, and then he can do that, and then get in there, and then get in there. Or you can use the whole method. Whatever. Lots of different things. You can use the hole or you can fill that other square. But however you do it, it helps. It helps having the three. Having the three is not, not good enough, basically. 
Yeah, that's mean they're bigger so better, so it doesn't make sense that a big one would just give the ball to a would give the ball to a blitzer or a lineman but not give it to another big one, right? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he not give it to his peer? Why would he not give it to somebody's equal but he'd give it to a lesser rock? That's stupid, right? Blitzers don't want to give anybody the ball because they want the glory once they get it. I mean that's okay. But then why aren't why aren't big ones like that? Fucking stupid. Classic BB3. I mean, it really is. Every, you know, every every single team can get movement up guaranteed, and a very good chance of edge up as well. Oh my God, the blitzers hasn't caught it. So he gets to give it straight to the players. That's great. That's a real big, uh, a real big stumbling block overcome. He hasn't got that many players, has he? So he didn't use anything, uh, anything clever to do this. I'm gonna blitz him to there, and then uh, things get a little bit tricky after that. This should have my ball. Yeah, these really should. Gets the push. It was only Black Hawks, right? Black Hawks didn't have animosity because they were like actually organised and not shit. But Biggins still had it. He's gonna have to make like a uh, what a dodge here. Eventually, gets the push. No, it's just it was just black holes. So that's the second one. And then now he has to now he has to dodge this guy, right? There's no way around. No no I guess not, maybe not. Could he I think he has to dodge one right now. Hard boys, maybe maybe something special that wasn't real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll let you have that one. Yeah, he does. He make the dodge. So here we go. Gets the power. Doesn't matter, obviously, whether it's a pusher or power. This one gets him there. No tackle on this square. This tackle should have been out here, obviously. This tackle oh, should have been here. Oh my here. God! It's happening. Yep. Yep. He, he had tackles. Oh my god, he gets through. Absolute justice. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> A Nurgle one turn for the win. It doesn't get more Blood Bowl 3 than that, does it? The the touchback was incredible. Because it was always going to be really hard for him to get the ball. I was feeling the cats. I missed most of it. Well, I'll watch it again in the YouTube video that will be available very soon. <laughs> yes. But yeah, Nurgle... Nargel one turn is a set of uh, combination of words that you usually don't expect. <laughs> no, not 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 in the uh, not in Blood Bowl two. That would have been very rare. Funnily enough, on Fumble there was a guy who won a major on uh, with Nurgle, and he had two movement eight Pestigors, and it was insane, right? Like Nurgle having two movement eight players, and now it's basically you know guaranteed that you have one movement eight player, and uh, with the agility four and dodge as well, and. Obviously not a yeah, good no, no, it's, uh, And the touchback. Yes, I think that's the thing, you know, with uh, Nargal that is like, okay, very expensive, very high TV to be competitive. But if you give them, you know, a little space, they can do this. Yeah. Movement 8, AG4, Dodge, uh, Bestigors. Yeah, yeah, I mean, literally every team can, right? Like, this is the crazy thing about Blue Bowl 2020. Like, literally every single team can just be like, all right, I've got a, I've got a runner. Well, he's, you know, a dwarf runner is going to be movement eight. And yeah, he's going to be moving eight. Blotch. Yes, one turn with uh, dwarves, one turn with anything that mm -hmm. has uh, at least a movement six piece. <laughs> yeah. That so, can be improved. 
Yeah, nearly every single team can do it. So, uh, if not every, probably every single team can do it. Probably every team can. Um, every team must have at least movement six, yeah. So there you go. I mean, great, great news for Andre. He topped the ladder. He topped the ladder. So he got his uh, he got his ticket for the world championship by topping the ladder, and then he won the chalice as well. So there you go. You couldn't have a more deserving winner than that, could you? Uh, and, no, uh, no, no. That's uh, there is no possible argument. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, congrats. Congrats to him. And uh, thank you very much, Fimey. Glorious having him in the booth. As always, it was this was a uh, really quick, but yeah, so so me. Uh, very interesting uh, play sometimes and jesus christ i was here for the winning the challenge with a one time with nargan as a, a historic event <laughs> yeah. surprisingly yeah. common nowadays also <laughs> yeah co common <laughs> have a player that can do it it, it, it was going to be hard to get him the ball uh, getting getting him the ball was going to be probably the hardest part of that one turner and then obviously the touchback was just incredible for him so uh, and obviously the defense was a bit shit from <laughs> a bit of a shit defense from Arzawain. But you know, all credit to Andre, there you go. Very well played. Kept himself in it and you know very well. And then scored a great one turn, so there you go. Congrats to Andre. And thank you to find me. Thanks to everybody watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>